I hope everyone's having a spectacular day. I got a couple minutes and then I have to bounce. So, let's see. All right, guys, got 15 minutes and I'm about to bounce. Here, drinking my potions. Please explain the sun and moon cycle. That's too long to explain now. I'm going to explain that in another session, probably like a longer session. Uh, what number, what's one, what's the number one book you would recommend? Dude, honestly, the most ancient of all scripts, bro. Uh, so you know if you know. How can I join 300? Uh, right now I'm handpicking, selecting people. Uh, so I'm reaching out to people personally that I think are worthy. Uh, and have the discipline and the drive and I know are going to listen to everything I have to say and are going to apply everything I have to say. Just like Victor, Glitch69, dude was super stiff two weeks ago. Now he's actually like losing weight. He's super limber. He's super strong. His mom said he was like fucking glowing. And then I think one of his, one of his, his chick, his chick, uh, in LA said he was also glowing. So the power biohacker, geez. Uh, potions recommend, you gotta be more specific. Do you mean the Bible? Perhaps the Bible, perhaps the Holy Bible, perhaps you take vitamins. I do. I supplement a hundred percent. I supplement a lot actually. Um, dude, I'm looking for a specific, oh, here we go. I found it. All right, guys, let's actually talk. Let's actually get, get a little session in. I'm, I got 10 minutes and I'm going to bounce. All right. Fire round. Um, tips for biohacking when eating college cafeteria food. Yes, don't eat college cafeteria food. That should be the biohacking tip. How do you fight procrastination? You got to make a decision. Um, if you're not within the circle, you're not getting into 300. That is correct. If you're not in the circle, you're not into 300, but you're still going to get free alpha from me occasionally. It's just not going to be all the detailed stuff and how to do it and when to do it in the, in the, in the cyclings, which are super important, uh, how to stimulate digestion on maximum. Dude, if you want to, st uh, stimulate digestion, right? First off, what I would suggest is never, especially if you're overweight, combine a lot of food, right? With eating. If you're chugging, right? You're chugging drinks and then you're eating food. It's very hard on the stomach. So what I like to do is I'll drink my potions before my meal that help digestion facilitate digestion. And then when I cook my meals, right, the herbs that I put, the way I cook my meat, the way I cook my food is easy on my stomach. And then after that, 15 minutes later, I do another herbal tea that tends to help with digestion. Uh, how do you escape the matrix? Um, dude, you, I mean, that's a long topic. That's, that we'd have to talk that. That's a long topic. You and your burn inspiration. Thank you, brother. What's up, man? Are you from Argentina? Sure. Dude, yeah. Uh, I lived in Argentina many years. Uh, when is the best time to eat carbs? Dude, the best time to eat carbs is once you're metabolically flexible. That's the best time to eat carbs. Um, best stretching routine? I'll drop some later. What is your potion right now? Okay, so great question. So what am I drinking right now, right? Everybody knows I'm on a clean bulking cycle. Therefore, I'm trying to... Um, increase my caloric intake, right? Caloric surplus. I'm trying to keep it between 200 to 400. I play around with it, but I don't count my calories. It's kind of in intuitive. I'm, I just look at my body and see where I'm at. And based off of that, I decide if I'm going to go with a higher intake of calories. It also fluctuates depending on, on the moon cycle and the, and the sun cycle that I'm training. For example, today's sun cycle training with Victor is super light, is heavily focused on stretching, which is amazing. But going back to the drink, this is coffee, uh, organic coffee, and I brewed it uh, with rosemary, dry rosemary, and yeah, very good for cognition. And then what I did after was I actually put uh, almost two, I'd say about a tablespoon of raw coconut uh, oil. Yeah, so healthy in fats as well. And I'm drinking this. I'm actually right here uh, recording. I'm about to shoot some content for 300. Uh, really breaking it down. So just taking a minute saying hi to the fam on IG. Let's answer a few more questions. Uh, opinions on Shilajit. Shilajit is a fascinating, fascinating subject if you really think about it. Because I feel like most people are under mineralized, right? 
the issue is the source of the shilajit, right? Like people have to understand that shilajit, right? If you take it in a powder form, in a pill form, or if you take it from the raw extract of the earth, it's completely different. Like your body is going to digest it, process it completely different. So if you're going to do shilajit, which I highly suggest, uh, always do it in the sap form. Always the resin. You want that. Um, I do pure Siberian shilajit in... Yeah, it's been going really, really good. I enjoy it a lot. But I also suggested taking it with food because it can be hard on the stomach. But you want that mineralization. I notice a huge difference in my energy with uh, Shilajit. How much does living... Oh, dude, living... I pay I pay a lot for living here, like a lot. Uh, how do I cut down on soda and chips? Yeah, just don't eat it, bro. So you cut down on soda and chips, it's the realization of what soda and chips are, right? Like a lot of people look at it and they're like, oh, dude, well, it's just a little cheat meal. But if you break it down, if you really think about it, soda and chips, right? They're hyper palatable foods. They are designed, right? Designed to make you addicted. Um, it's very interesting because I even noticed a difference in how I used to perceive food, right? Like the, the healthy stuff. It wasn't as good. Why? Because it didn't give me that dopamine rush. It didn't give me that ecstasy. It didn't give me that high that I craved because I was addicted to those hyper palatable foods, right? So once you get off of that and you actually start enjoying actually organic real stuff, you go back to the other trash and you, it's, you detest it. Like you feel like throwing up, bro. It's literally garbage, like straight up shit. Dude, fuck Skittles, bro. Um, straight up poison. Let's eat some frozen blueberries. That shit's amazing. All right, next question. Never eat massive food. Thoughts on Andrew Huberman? He's very knowledgeable and very smart man respect uh will you update patreon okay guys so heads up with the patreon so this is what happened right i opened a portal for a couple hours a lot of people signed on i was dropping a lot of alpha the money is still locked in patreon right like i haven't touched it the purpose of patreon was one month subscriber and then give information for free for several months but patreon caught on because i paused the subscriptions so yeah uh Basically, yeah, they literally shut down the group. Uh, so it's whatever. Like the money's still there. I'm going to see what I'm going to do with the money. I might actually give it back to the community, to one of the the glitches, uh, one of the explorers. We'll see. We'll, we'll gamify the experience. But yeah, we, we I definitely dropped a lot of knowledge there. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Okay, look, if Fumas enough vlogs, no idea. What are some convenient, healthy snacks? I mean, the snacks, it just depends on the purpose of the snack, right? Uh, eggs, I think every person should be eating eggs, organic eggs. Uh, why? Because eggs contain vitamin A, like pure retinol vitamin A. We're not talking about the garbage vegans try to feed you where they're like, yeah, uh, kale has vitamin A. Dude, it does not have vitamin A. Pure retinol vitamin A, it does not have, what it has is beta, beta carotene and theta carotene, right? But then most people tend to be poor converters. So then actually then being able to absorb that and converting it to actual pure retinol vitamin A is very low. Therefore, you'd have to be eating tons and tons and tons of vegetables. But then you also have all the anti-nutrient factors. So it's definitely a dilemma. Um, but that's, I'm going on a rant there. So let's talk about something else. Bulking tips, increase your, your fat intake, uh, decrease the carbohydrate intake. Um, Belmars, how can I be in 300? I'm going to drop uh, more information about 300 later. Right now, I'm only picking people, hand selecting people. Uh, is it worth counting your calories? Guys, so when I was fat and I got fucking shredded, I did not count my calories, right? It was all intuitive training. Um, you literally feel your body. If your body, and that's, in, but it comes with dedication, right? Like you have to commit. You're like, okay, whatever my body feels, I'm going to, I'm going to stick to that regimen, right? So if I'm feeling bloated, it doesn't matter if I'm hungry, I'm not going to eat like straight up. I'm not going to eat. Um, so yeah, but guys, we, be more specific with the questions so we can actually like tackle it because I have to bounce soon. Okay, is chocolate acceptable or poison? This is a fantastic question. All right. Chocolate. Bad chocolate. Processed chocolate. Terrible for you. Anything that's over 75% cacao that's organic, I highly suggest it. Why? The amount of flavonoids it contains. I was actually doing some research and they're saying, uh, I'm, I'm probably not going to talk about it now because I need to do more research, but it's actually very fascinating. So yes, if it's 75% cacao up, Half a bar a day, a bar a day. I'll eat it even in between my workouts. Amazing. So here's a pro tip. 
a lot of people don't like the flavor, right, of cacao. It's too strong. It's too bitter. They're used to the, the trash the Matrix feeds them. So what do you do? You bypass the bitterness by incorporating honey, manuka honey, right? If you're a vegan, you can do maple syrup. You can dip it in maple syrup. Uh, coconut flakes on top. You can put almond butter. Like, dude, the sky is the limit. So just don't be a little bitch. Don't go back to the Snickers. Um, what should I eat after doing a fi five day water fast? Dude, if you're doing five day water fast, just be careful. You're metabolically flexible when you do that. Cause now you can fuck yourself up. Um, uh, but what I would suggest you eat, bro, is go heavy on fruits, go heavy on fruits, vegetables, uh, and potentially juices. And then the shredded gourd as well. That's what I would suggest. And then once your body is, is a little bit flushed out with actual solid matter, right? Solid input of energy. I would suggest incorporating, uh, meat. Uh, da, 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 da. what food stimulates digestion? A lot of foods. Actually, coffee is great for deaminating. Um, dude, Patreon us backup sensei. Yeah, we'll see. Right now, I'm just focused on 300 guys. Uh, height and then helping people out here sometimes. What do you use to wash your hair? I do not use conventional products, guys. This hair does not occur with products of the Matrix. That is for sure. Um, all right. I made 32k drop shipping today. I'm fat. Dude, if you, if you made, if you made 32k in drop shipping, you should be happy and do like 300 pushups. And if you can't do 300 pushups, you have to ask yourself why, right? And I'm not saying about doing 300 pushups in a row. I'm talking about doing 300 pushups throughout the day to 100 in the day. It doesn't even have to be actual pushups. You can do girl pushups. You can do, um, you can do, negatives you can do static holds just do something right and if you're fat just first of all you have to change your perspective on fat because that's a whole different topic